What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the problem when the Microsoft Authenticator is not working on your mobile device. If the Microsoft Authenticator isn't sending codes or keeps failing to load properly, there are multiple quick fixes you can try to get it working again. Start by checking your internet connection. Microsoft Authenticator needs access to the internet to sync with your accounts. If you're on Wi-Fi, try switching to cellular data or vice versa. If you're using a VPN, go ahead and disable it. Microsoft Authenticator will not function correctly with the VPN turned on. Next, make sure low power mode is turned off. This mode restricts background activity, which can prevent the app from working as it should. To verify this, go to your settings, scroll down and tap on battery. Then, toggle off low power mode. Now, go back to settings and scroll to Face ID and Passwords. Tap on Other apps under the Use Face ID for section and make sure that Authenticator is enabled. This ensures iOS recognizes the app for code management. Then, search for the Authenticator app in the Settings search bar at the top and select it once it appears on the search results. On the App Settings page, enable everything here – Face ID, Background App Refresh and Cellular Data. Also, tap on Notifications within the Authenticator app settings and make sure Allow Notifications is turned on. Now, Toggle on the Time Sensitive Notifications to make sure you get authentication prompts as soon as they're sent. After that, go to Privacy and Security in your settings. Then, tap on Location Services and turn it on. Microsoft Authenticator may use the location data to verify login attempts, so this setting helps improve reliability. Finally, go to Settings, tap on General, and then Date and Time, and enable Set Automatically. If your time is even slightly off, it can interfere with code generation, especially for time-based one-time passwords, which the app relies on. Once you've gone through these steps, try opening the Microsoft Authenticator again. It should start working normally. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.